You know, kids really need to learn about terraforming pl uh, our planet and how good it could be, the conservation of everything and improvement. Because there's a lot of missing berry bushes. How do the bears get enough food, you know? So what I was thinking was, um, we bring this about through, we need like maybe a Transformers kids, uh, it could be maybe a TV show or a movie along with a video game. And what's based around is the next wave of Transformers comes to our planet and they're like, you know, transforming into like tractors and like mining equipment and stuff. And then they're like actually fixing up the planet as they like turn into like eco, like, you know, quick tree planters and stuff. As you like, you know, got to get the specs up on the planet, like how many, you know, animals are having babies. I don't know. Then you have like, you know, all the like pregnant animals like around the undergrowth and then like the robot comes through and like, you know, sucks them up and then like they come out the other side like having given birth. I don't know why because it's hilarious with the baby next to him, um, because it just needs to be silly and not that realistic, but yeah, you can, like, do all the improvements through Transformers, like, you can, uh, put in, um, a high-speed train across Alaska over to Asia from America and have that all set up the way it would be done, like, you have different missions and you have, like, different Transformers, like, submarine Transformers. You gotta go in and, like, hold the pieces of the pipe, polymer pipe in place. It's all clear. And then you got, like, you know, Decepticons coming in and trying to use government forces to, you know, always come in with, like, submarines and, like, shoot missiles at them. Like, it's, I don't know, the Russians or whoever, random, silly, stupid things, you know, overly cartoony uh, human faces, you know, being tricked by Decepticons into stopping world improvements. I think this is pretty awesome sounding. Like, it's like an RTS game, sort of like, uh, not like Army and RTS, uh, and whatever. Anyways, it's pretty fabulous. Uh, you can have things like, you know, you gotta harvest a bunch of fields, of different types of mixture of grain and flowers and then like you gotta feed mass amounts of like cows and other grazing animals like certain parts of the world and you gotta like set up transformers like train creation so you can like get the grain to other parts of the world where it's needed where there aren't enough railroads yet um you know, I really want to inspire kids to be the next wave of engineers to fix this planet. Because I sure want to fix the planet. Um, and that means good food, too. So, this game promotes that as well. And it can all be under the header of something that already exists. I happen to have a sexy laptop bag that, you know, is serviced me in a basic manner taking my laptop around back in the day even up in the airplane but when I was up in the sky boy my laptop had a lot of dust that came out of it you can if you open your laptop uh, mid-flight right when you get up to frigid level in the air uh, boy all the dust comes out and gets on the screen of the laptop and then you can wipe it off and then like cleans up your whole laptop inside anyways um, that anecdote aside, um, we need a briefcase where, um, it's all like, think George Jetson, you know how his whole spaceship folds into a briefcase, that's ridiculous, but think about this, a 17.3 inch laptop, that's the common large size, and there's our 21 inch laptops, I'd really like one in this size too eventually, but what it does is, it just, the briefcase, it's like a transformer sort of, 
And you can imagine it makes like a boom noise as it transforms. So what it does is the briefcase, you know, you hit the, the go button and it like slowly lifts up it's lid and it has like a, a like a special like strap roller like you know system along the edges of the laptop that kind of like you know I'm trying to think you don't need a strap you just have like rollers that grip the edges of the lid and then it slowly lifts as it lifts and then like you can have the laptop say be in like power down mode or in a sleep mode, so then as you push the button to open the briefcase automatically with its little, you know, uh, spinny rotors and pistons, you know, then it like all turns inside out, the sides and everything is the sub, uh, inside lifts, then it like reveals underneath like the fans that are already like connected through USB to the laptop, so that it's like all transforms and comes up into a right angle for the laptop to be usable in the briefcase with the fans underneath with side venting you know and out the bottom slightly with like it all set up all transformed sexy into like cradle your um jumbo laptop mode you know what i'm saying and you should really like pay me for this because this is like what i've always dreamed of and kept it inside my little boy brain all these years because like that just is fun and looks cool like if you could have a 21 inch model like you can have like a serious gaming laptop and work laptop, take it around with you anywhere, transform anywhere you want, right in the coffee shop, it'll turn heads, you know what I'm saying? You'll be business savage, you know? You'll be so business savvy, you'll be business savage. You'll go right around the corner like you're in the Bronze Age again. Hey kids, did you know there's a secret war going on? You see... The Transformers showed up on Earth secretly as uh, metal super skeleton nanobots to, uh, you know, improve the economy. So uh, they're uh, here, for example, as robo cows, and uh, they come down and they uh, look like huge, you know, like cattle trailers, and they like with like semis, and then they like, you know all transform all the ribs of uh, metal areas of the back of the trailer all turn into separate you know cattle beasts that can uh, then carapace over you know real cattle in the field and increase their appetites you know and like you know make them eat a bunch of uh, grain at high speed and then like they uh, the cows start like shooting um, you know superheated vapor out of their nose as they like you know start dripping steel and then they like turn into forges and they're like you know pooping out ingots of steel and then like those are being used to like create bridges and stuff so then the decepticons come in and they're like disguises like you know uh like volkswagen beetle cars and like fancy you know sports cars with strange insectoid angles and they're like you know secretly like giant um locusts or whatever so they like come into a field you know like they're all like driving like there's like an abandoned um a housing development with like a black road that kind of curves and then goes like into a wheat field so like the two cars you know the volkswagen beetle you know new model and like the uh stupid uh what are those called um i don't know what are those ones with the stupid angles on the front anyways the point is or on the hood, um, then, uh, they both, like, transform as they get near to the field, and then, like, you know, start to turn into giant locust creatures that are, like, gonna consume all of the grain, so then the, uh, cattle reveal that they're secretly, you know, enhanced, and they start to, you know, glow as they're, like, sitting there munching in the field, and start charging towards the, um, locust cars that are all giant, and then as... The cattle smash into them. The locusts break up into like a bunch of tiny little um, individual like realistic sized locusts as they're like smashed into and blown to bits. And then those individual nanobots are like trying to chow on all the grain. So then all the cattle are like, you know, um, the cattle have like you know uh nanobot flies that are like going around and like fighting the uh 
locusts, you know, how cows always have flies on them where they're like robot flies, you know what I'm saying? So they're like, you know, going in and like, you know, on the backs of like the um, tiny locusts, they're trying to eat all the grain particles and steal all the steel. And then um, they're like, you know, like bring out like their little micro like laser drills and they're like cutting into the metal locust backs, you know, and like disabling their their cerebral systems, you know. Um, it's pretty intense stuff. Uh, this is just one, you know, segment. This is just one scene, but you just kind of get the idea, don't you? So, right, the cattle smash the uh, insectoid cars to bits. You know, the other ones that come up show up shortly after. It's like a whole war, you know. So they at first, like, disconnect, like, their doors that, you know, come up on the sides. They're, like, wings, you know. And then, like, like the different angles of, like, unfold into extra legs on the sides. And, um, they got, like, horrible mandibles and stuff. So then the cattle that are, like, reinforced, enhanced with the Transformer bots are, like, charging around in formations, like, smashing the cars as the cars are transforming between cars and, you know, giant insects. And as they get smashed, then they break into smaller nanobots, like I was saying. But the beetles, meanwhile, they, you know, have armor and the charging cattle can't hurt them. <clears throat> so... The, um, like, you know how beetles, when they get on their backs, they, they, they're powerless, so then, like, the, uh, super, um, jumbo cattle, like, um, you know, the front cab area of a semi, the driving area, truck area, there's, like, that, and it, like, turns into, like, a giant, um, like, sheepdog, and it's like, you know, directing the uh, cattle around in formations. Um, and like, you know, trying to like, you know, like grab with its mouth like the uh, cars and like fling them around, smash them into stuff. And like they go like flying and like smashing into trees and other fields and stuff. But then as like the largest cows, like the longhorns, you know, they come charging in from another, you know, field at super speed, you know, along the road with like, you know, super glowy, you know, charging momentum with like sparks flying off the, off the, um, concrete for no reason. <laughs> <coughs> and then <coughs> they like flip the Beatles cars over that are like going around and like munching on like, you know, the fields and like eating everything can't be stopped. And then like, um... <coughs> They, like, come in and, like, flip them over, you know, so they're, like, exposed. And they're, like, you know, bullhorns are, like, goring the uh, undersides of the giant beetle cars, the septicons. Then they, like, break down into smaller beetles that are, like, golf ball sized or whatever. And then they're, like, whooshing through the field and, like, eating up all the beets, you know, like, and everything through the different fields, like, going everywhere. as like, furrows go all different directions, you know, eating everything. So then, um, for the final transformation, the, uh, cattle, you know, the transformers separate from the cattle bones, uh, letting the cattle, you know, all sit there all heavily breathing and snorting, you know, and then they transform into a giant, like, tractors, a number of them, out of, like, the different false, you know, metal ribs of the, that were on the cattle, they, like, turn into the tines on the back of the tractor that like spin and they like pick up all the different you know um beetles scurrying around or ground eating everything and like put them in like cages you know on behind the tractor as like the tractor's front is like got like um just like like a super souped up engine you know with like a bunch of like hot rods coming out the front you know I don't know, it sounds pretty rad to me, and then, like, they capture all the Decepticons, and then, like, you know, some farmer, like, comes out of his house, and, like, is like, what's going on, you know, like, drives over the hill in his pickup, and then, like, as he gets there, then it's just, like, supposedly nothing's going on, it's, like, the tractor, like, you know, breaks down all of the uh, Decepticons with, like, super heated, you know, smushing in those cages, you know, and, like, turns them into, like, you know, bricks of metal, um, and then, supposedly, when the farmer shows up, there's just, like, bricks of metal disguised as hay bales, 
and like tractors sitting there and some cattle, you know, and like he's like all freaked out because his whole field's been like harvested. And, like, because, like, the Beatles, right, they each, like, have, like, grabbed a beat because they're Beatles. And they've, like, eaten the whole thing and it's, like, inside of their, um, centers. So then it's, like, um, all of the beets and other vegetables that they ate have been, like, cooked by the tractors into, like, this tasty meal that's, like, been left behind after the, you know, compressed nanobugs have been dealt with. So then, like, the cows are, like, munching on, like, the tasty, you know, cooked silage. And he's, like, all super confused. He's, like, he can't figure out what happened, you know, and where the tractors came from. I don't know. There you go. So the Decepticons come down, like, long centipedes from space with like compartments that are like supposedly the Beatles and the um you know their other sports cars that are all insectoid looking and then when they come down close to the ground then they like break into sections and like set down so and supposedly like look like semi trailers where like the cars can like come off of them so then like they disgorge the cars cuz they're all in disguise and as they come in towards the planet they scan the uh, technology of the local area and blend into it, you know. So that explains that. Anyways, the farmer, you know, he's scanned by the uh, Transformers nanobots, and they realize that he's a prime specimen. So then they uh, decide to use him because the war is immediate on the planet because the Transformers make everything awesome. And they're going to use all the like metal that they're collecting immediately from the war of defeating the Decepticons. In fact, they'll use the Decepticons after they defeat them as well, because their metal becomes inert. And, like, and then it's been treated with, like, their, um, you know, transformative ion charge, so then it just becomes permanent technology, you know. Pretty awesome, huh? So anyways, you know, there's this joke I've made my whole life, and here's the explanation. You know, the song Transformers, Robots in Your Thighs. Well, it's, I've always sang, Pensformers, robots in your thighs. And so here's the perfect opportunity, you see. Like, the Decepticons are gonna, like, come in and, like, eat him or whatever. One of the, you know, Beatles, because it's like, you know, thinks that he knows too much or whatever. As, like, the, everybody's, like, all the different robots are, like, just pretending to be tractors and stuff. So then, like, the Transformers kick into high gear to save him. And, like, they, like, rush his nanobots, like, up his legs and, like, disintegrate his clothes and, like, turn into, like, a super suit. Kind of like Spider-Man, you know, in the new movies. Um, and then, like, you know, they, like, the, tr the nanobots like dial into his his uh nerves and like his dna and like go super small into him and they're like you know he's here's like weird dial-up noises in his brain as they like plug into his like language centers and then it like keeps distorting around his static and stuff until it goes and then it like turns into a voice going the right direction which is you know the sound of um Autobots assemble, whatever, roll out, you know, type deep voice in his head as he begins to interface with what's now infecting him and turning him into, into a super uh, man sort of man machine. So then, um, like a, what looks like a, like one of those bigger four-wheelers that farmers drive around comes driving in with like all super fancy and, and futuristic and chrome looking with all like with all four wheels kind of like kind of narrower and then as it comes in close it like interfaces as like he's forced to like you know run and like connect with it as it like comes in and like it comes in behind him as he's running and then um like 
connects to each of the limbs as it jump as it rears up and transforms and it transforms into a um like one of those like mechs that you ride with it and can control like it's slightly bigger than you so then he's like running at high speed in it and it's got like these piston feet with like these um propulsions that each time like he pushes off it like blasts into the soil with like a concussion explosion and like shoots him forward like 30 feet as he's like sprinting at super high speed with all this like technology and like guidance systems like starting to interact with his 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 um optics you know into his brain and everything as everything's being explained to him and uh, there's a feed going on in his head that shows how like there's a war with the decepticons and the other bots the well they're called autobots i guess that's all i know what they're called for now um so like there's like bats that are like decepticons trying to like eat all of the fruit and steal all of it from like the jungle in south america for example and then there's like a bunch of owls that are like secretly uh autobots that are like beating the shit out of them and they're like battling over all the resources and each time you know the autobots win and then they, you know, take all the gathered resources of metal and other material and, like, turn it into things like railroad tracks and bridges and useful upgrades, like, shoring up, like, areas of, like, mountains by, like, water so, like, it doesn't flood into the, the, the silt of the mountain, doesn't get into the river when it floods in the spring. Just all kinds of useful different things. And then, of course, like I was saying, there's the dolphin bots, submarines that are building underwater train tunnels um and then there's the evil sharks you know hammerhead sharks that are trying to like eat everything trying to like eat the the polymer train tunnels you know and they have to get like the crap beaten out of them by the dolphins with like their supersonic attacks to like stun the uh sharks but the sharks you know they uh just keep uh, keep moving because like you can't really the, the stuns don't work you know because they're too stupid they're just auto eating machines so they're just chowing through all everything that the uh, dolphins are trying to create so then the dolphins have to like create like they, they lure all the sharks into one area where they're like got like supposedly what the sharks want to eat you know they're like foundry of like where they're like taking like sand that's being coming to the shore like uh new trains that are coming in with like quality sand that has like polymer in it so then it's like being f turned into big like polymer like you know balls that are like being rolled into the ocean that like the sharks want to eat so then they're all lured in close and then they like um the dolphins all go supersonic attack mode and they like blast down into like under the uh a crack in the ocean and like cause like a massive um explosion down into the earth's crust that like causes a volcano to go off and it like seals all of the hammerhead shark uh things into like a bay area is like there's like a huge explosion of like magma that like you know drowns the sharks in like superheated vapor and like freezes them into the stone you know as the dolphins uh once again uh take off into the ocean to continue their work the giant submarine transformation dolphins with their prehensile uh, penises that they use to <laughs> to do their labor <laughs> Um, anyways, besides for that, back to the main story. Um, so then he's, um, running and he, like, it's cause it's, like, too rough of terrain over the fields, like, where he lives in the area. And, like, he knows them really good. So then, like, the other, um, parts of the Decepticons that came down that are, like, supposedly the front cab areas... They, like, turn into, like, you know, different things like gorillas and rhinos and stuff, you know. And they're, like, chasing him, you know. But he's able to keep ahead of them because he knows the terrain. And they keep, like, 
smashing into different stuff as he like knows how to duck around things and like go into little gulches and stuff and so then um finally he gets to the main highway and the mech thing he's running on it transforms into a motorcycle as he's running at high speed on the highway like all fluidly that he's suddenly like riding at high speed on top of it's like you know, like a bullet bike you know and he takes off too fast for anything to catch him. Uh, I'll stop for here for now. Talk more later.